After having made your quiz, you can run your game show in the Quiz Express Quiz Player, Quiz Express Live. There are multiple ways to run a quiz. First, you can run your quiz from the Quiz Show tab in Quiz Express Studio. Press the Quiz Show tab and then press Run Production. Alternatively, you can run your quiz directly from the Windows File Explorer. Go to the folder where you stored your quiz file. A quiz file has the extension .qx. Right-click the quiz file, press More Options, and choose Play Quiz. Finally, you can start up the quiz player directly and select a quiz file to run. You can start Quiz Express Live by going to the Windows Start menu and typing in Quiz Express Live. Choose and open a quiz file to run a quiz. After launching a quiz, the Quiz Express welcome screen is shown. Various elements such as the music played, the text shown, and the video and images shown can be customized to your liking, which is explained in another video regarding the branding options of Quiz Express. There are several ways to control a game show. You can use the keyboard, the remote control in case you use keypads or buzzers. Or use the Quiz Express Director, available on mobile or laptop while playing the quiz on an external screen. Let's continue with the quiz. For this video, we will be using the keyboard to direct the game show. When using the keyboard, the game host can use several shortcut keys. The game host can navigate and control the game show with these shortcuts. Press space to leave the welcome screen. You will now see the buzzer sign on screen. This screen is optional. It can be used to make the audience familiar with the buzzers and the presenter can test whether everything is working correctly. Players can press their buzzer or phone and on screen their respective numbers will rotate. Press the spacebar again to start the quiz. What you see here is the screen that is shown when a question is shown. It shows a clock, the number of points players can win, the number of players who have already answered, and the names of the players who have yet to answer and can be urged by the quizmaster to do so. Press S, E, R, T, or W on your keyboard to show variations of the intermediate scores. The scoreboards have different looks and contain different information depending on what key you use. You can use the Shift key to show the scoreboards in reversed order. Press the control key plus S to show the intermediate round scores. Press control plus E to show the round winners if your quiz has rounds. Use the up and down arrows or page up and page down to scroll through the score overviews. Press C to show a response chart. A response chart shows how many times players answered for each answer. Press A to show the correct incorrect grid, which shows for each player whether a correct answer was given, an incorrect answer was given or no answer was given at all. When using the remote control, which is part of the keypad or buzzer bundles, the game host can press the various buttons on the remote to control the game show. Quiz Express Live has an extensive Quiz Master control panel that gives full control over the game show, which is called Quiz Express Director. Quiz Express Director runs on the laptop screen while the quiz is being presented to the audience on an external screen. To open Quiz Express Director, press the D key, which will automatically show Director on the laptop and the quiz player on the external screen. Please note that in order to show the Director on the laptop screen only, the Windows desktop has to be set to extended. Alternatively, you can choose to always open Quiz Express Director on startup in the Quiz Setup. You can open Quiz Express Setup by going to the Home tab of Quiz Express Studio, clicking External, and clicking Quiz Setup. Go to the Advanced tab. 
and tick open Quiz Express Director on Startup to enable Quiz Express Director on Startup. This is the Quiz Express Director. On the left side of the director, you can see several buttons which indicate actions that are currently possible. On the top of the director, you can see several tabs. The Questions tab gives an overview of all questions, answers, and notes. You can edit questions and answers by clicking the Edit Question button at the top or by double-clicking a question. You can also jump to a question by selecting it and pressing Go to Question. Questions that have been played already are marked green. The Players and Teams tab shows all the player scores and whether they are active in the game. Player names and points can be modified. The Responses tab shows a real-time overview of answers given by the players during the countdown of the current question. On the screen, you can see a real-time example. The Rounds tab shows the score overviews for every round if the quiz has rounds. The Analyzer tab shows the history of all given answers for all questions of all players. The Extensions tab shows all mini-games which can be configured and run at any moment during the quiz. Please note that you can also choose to embed a mini-game as part of a quiz while creating a quiz in Quiz Express Studio. The Media Player tab enables you to play sounds or videos which are not a part of the original quiz. On the Hardware tab, you can reconnect the receiver when using keypads or buzzers, which can be necessary when, for example, the cable is pulled out by accident. The Mobile tab shows all currently connected mobile phones when playing with Quiz Express Mobile. When using Quiz Express Mobile, the host can use the Quiz Express Director app, available for iOS and Android. The Director app resembles Quiz Express Director as used on the computer. You can connect the Director app to your computer in Quiz Setup. Open Quiz Setup from the Home tab in Quiz Express Studio by pressing External and Quiz Setup. Press the Mobile tab in Quiz Setup and enter the name of your computer as it will be shown in the Director app in the Location Name field. Then press New Code and scan the QR code from the Director app by clicking the yellow plus sign. Your computer will now appear in the list of computers that you can control with the app. To direct your game show from the Mobile Director app, start a quiz, select your computer name, and click the arrow on top. The Mobile Director will start connecting to the server. The Mobile Director consists of five tabs. The Remote tab, the Questions tab, the Players tab, the Mini Games tab, and the Soundboard tab. The tabs are similar to the tabs of the Desktop Director. You can configure the sounds used by the Soundboard in Quiz Setup. Be aware that the Director app must use the same server mode as the mode that is used by the Quiz Player. This is indicated in the quiz setup on the mobile tab. The three options are buzzerpad.com, US server, buzzerpad.eu, Europe server, or local Wi-Fi. You can change the server mode used by the app by clicking the hamburger menu on the top left and clicking settings. Click on mobile server to connect to and select the right server. Several of the quiz player's visual and auditory aspects can be customized in Quiz Setup. On the Sound tab of the Quiz Setup, you can change various sound effects and music used in the game show. On the Screens tab, you can configure various aspects of the Quiz Express welcome screen. It is also possible to change the quiz player's appearance in more detail by using a process called skinning. Skinning is a technical process that we can help with by request.
There are four pre-installed skins, which can be selected on the Screens tab under the Appearance section. Here are previews of the four pre-installed skins.